Hey everybody, how are you doing? I'm back and um, if you don't know what happened recently to me, uh, check out the video in the link description below. Uh, but essentially, um, no medical procedure needed, just needed some medical intervention in the form of antibiotics and uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel like myself again. The weather is really quite warm and if you're in a European country you're probably feeling the same thing. So I haven't been out running too much uh, but I have been using something new which if you follow me on Instagram you will know that this has now entered my life. Now don't worry, don't be alarmed, my little one is not actually inside the running buggy at the moment. Um, there are some shots in this video which full transparency I have taken without her in it because actually it's not fair for her to um, go up and down whilst I do some flyby shots. So full transparency there but there are some with her little legs dangling in so just bear with me on that front this is kind of a first impressions video a little kind of update on what i'm planning to do um i'll do a full review of this um another time i'll put some more mileage on because doing it so early um just seems a little bit fraudulent to me so we'll just do a couple of pros couple of cons things i've thought about um and then i'll talk to you about my kind of plans for the rest of this year so Let's do a little tour and show you what we've got here. This is the um, out and about, actually here, out and about, and this is the Nipper Sport version 4. There's a few different versions of it. Um, so obviously if you're in the market for something of this kind, you don't need to get the version 4 to get the job done. First and foremost, I like the way it looks. Similar to a pair of trainers, if you find something that looks good, it gives you that extra sort of push, <laughs> extra sort of feeling of excitement when you take it out for the first time and many times thereafter. So the colourway for me is absolutely fantastic. You can get it in reds as well, but straight out of the box, uh, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Now, when I say straight out of the box, it's got a fantastic um, resale market going for it so if you buy this full price about 350 the resale market is still very very strong i picked this one up on ebay for 150 because it was uh local to me and actually the tires still had their little kind of uh what do you call them on them what are these little things called these little rubber bits and pieces so uh yeah um if you do buy it you don't get on with it you can still resell it and you can uh, obviously get basically your money back or more depending if you pick a bargain up other things I like about it, you can adjust the handle. So this at the moment is pointing basically as high up as it will go, but you can simply adjust it to bring it down level depending on your height or preference. It's a very, very lightweight uh, unit. So when you are moving with it, it just feels simple and straightforward as you'd expect from a running buggy. Um, and in terms of the storage space, it's pretty good as well. So down the bottom there, you can see we've got a little kind of drawstring um, holster and uh, in there at the moment is just the rain cover and other bits and pieces it happens to the shop you can get a loaf of bread and there are other few things as well if you so desire uh if you move up to the top here we've got down the side let's have a little look what we've got here there you go how about that a bit of hydration uh not an ad by the way but uh yeah so a bit of hydration in there and the same zip pocket on the other side as well so, uh, the main thing actually i completely forgot is that this thing folds down basically flat so if you've got a small car or if you've got a second family car i'll show you this um as an overlay you can actually take one two back wheels off literally with a little movement of this here and the front wheel as well comes off really really simply by just undoing this and unclipping that so take your three wheels off and fold the whole thing down flat which is really really good as well You know me, say it as I find it. So what are the things that I don't actually like about it? Now, I guess I mentioned the price earlier, but I can come back to that. Most people can be using this probably as a secondary uh, buggy or pram. There are um, options available from the out and about company that are more kind of day-to-day -day buggies. So just bear that in mind as well. But obviously 350 is pretty steep um, for a second piece of kit. So um, that's something that financially is gonna be a bit of a hole in the pocket. So I suppose that would be in some respects a little bit of a negative, but I think they still are pretty good value for money. Okay, something I really dislike, and I'll probably stand by this for the rest of the time that I have it, 
Just imagine for a second that your little one's asleep and you just want to maybe move this top shade part. Listen to the noise it makes. I mean, why? Why have it so clicky like that? Unless there's an error or an issue or something that I need to sort out here, this horrible click, it could have been a nice, smooth, gentle uncover. Um, so that, and this as well, so if you transfer them when they're asleep into it, it's just a horrible noise. And even if you go slowly, you've still got that clunk, clunk, clunk. So I do not like that about it uh, at all. So when you buy a running buggy, you do need to bear this in mind. They do obviously operate differently to a normal buggy. So I would recommend certainly going out and spending some time getting used to the action of it and the way that it maneuvers around corners. And I did that um, for certainly the first two times uh, without my little one in it because you don't want to be going out for the first time and starting to kind of play around with it and realise, oh, actually, this is quite difficult because that wheel obviously stays arrowhead straight so it's not going to be moving left and right um, that's something you do need to get used to it's not necessarily negative but it is something that is different okay what else do i not like about it well for me i found that uh, if you run on ground such as this here which is obviously treated to a point but it's not necessarily maintained as flat tarmac uh, you do feel all the bumps and lumps through certainly through your wrists and because of that i imagine you're feeling it through um the little uh, cockpit there so um because of that You've got to be really careful. You want to be running it, and there should be some overlays now, not on the ground that I've just shown you, but on basically flat, nice, well-maintained tarmac. It's not always uh, easy to find roads like that. If you do have them nearby you, I would definitely say stick to that because it's not necessarily an off-roader. The suspension seems to be pretty good uh, on it, but um, I don't know enough about it to know whether actually I could possibly do some tweaking and make it a little bit more sensitive or, in fact, less sensitive. Um, I don't know, but certainly a piece of kit that you can take apart fully and you can wash everything, clean everything. And a lot of people, if you're looking online for them, you'll see them looking basically pretty much pristine because people have gone to town, added the grease, done all of that, blacked out the tyres, so on. I'm just going to interject here with another negative I forgot about until I started running. Excuse the ducks here. Check out this. So you can see here, we've got some low, horrible singing nettles. So what's going to happen is, and of course I haven't got my little one in there. Check this out. You've got to imagine she's in this. Let's just walk slowly through. Have a look. Now, that is going to go in right there. Hit her right in the face. That, that isn't something I really like. So again, you know, it's not your fault. You can be running on the main road and then suddenly there's just a low hanging something and you're going to get it whipping in there. Um, horrible. Absolutely horrible. I feel like they should have had maybe some sort of, a, I don't know, exoskeleton type thing just to deflect because that is just, you know, you can imagine it, can't you? Merrily sort of running along and then suddenly the little one gets hit with anything really because it's quite open. Overall though, very happy with it. Uh, it's still early days, they're just first impressions. Probably sounds a bit obvious all the things I just said to you then, but that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Okay, so what's my plan for the rest of the year? I had hopes to go and try and do a couple of shorter races, maybe a little solo marathon. Uh, but ultimately, I want to have a little play around with this buggy now and see if I can do a little bit of damage on the uh, local park runs with it. So yeah, certainly keep updated and please stick to the channel. Thanks for your support. See you soon.